Hi and welcome to Scuba Note. Today I want to talk with you about color grading the GoPro Hero 5 Black footage in Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2018, especially for underwater footage. So what I want to show you, you today is how you can get this video quality out of this raw material. So like you see, we have a lot of space for improvements in color grading with Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's just jump right into this configuration. I will just delete all my adjustments I already did because I want to show you every step by step how you can do that by yourself in Adobe Premiere Pro. So here you see our three clips we actually have selected in our timeline. These are really ungraded raw files just copied from the camera directly into Adobe. So like you see this footage is really greenish, the white balance is not fitting, the contrast is not there and so on and so on. Um, the settings I, I, I have used for these clips on the GoPro Hero I will post in the video description below so you can try to do that by yourself. Set the, your camera to the same settings I am using and then you can do the steps in Adobe Premiere also like we do it now. So the first step we need to do is that we need to add an adjustment layer to our timeline. So how we do that? We will right click here in our project folder and go to new item adjustment layer and hit OK. So now we have a new adjustment layer. What is an adjustment layer? An adjustment layer is more or less a transparent empty layer we can put into our timeline where we can assign all the color grading effects and settings to the adjustment layer. So we are not setting directly these effects or color, color settings to the single clip. No, we are doing it directly on the adjustment layer and the adjustment layer can be expanded over the complete one time of all three clips. So we have that. Next thing is we need to set a color corrector effect to this adjustment layer. How we do this? We will go to the effects and type fast. And then you see here the fast color corrector. You can drag and drop this to the adjustment layer. And then you have here in your effect control the fast color corrector. In this fast color corrector you have the hue balance and angle settings. So this color picker here is like that we are adding afterwards a magenta filter in front of our lens of the GoPro. So the main shot was, was just out of camera without any filter or something else. So we need to adjust the missing colors afterwards in post. So that's what we are doing now. We will attach or edit and add a magenta filter to it. So more or less like, like this. So if we just turn off the first color corrector, you see the difference. So we added the missing red light or the magenta color back to the image. So we can keep it for now like this is. I believe for, for now it's, it's pretty fine. So what we need to do next is we need to jump into the color settings. So inside these color settings, we will start with the basic correction, not, not on this clip directly. So the changes we are doing are on the adjustment layer, but it's affecting the clip below the adjustment layer. So you need to be sure that you are always, that you always have the adjustment layer selected, and not the clip itself. So we are marking the adjustment layer, and now we are able to change the settings here, the main settings like exposure, contrast, highlights, shadows, whites, blacks. I don't know, if you're family with uh, Adobe Photoshop or Lightroom or whatever, then you know these settings already. Or even you have that in, in other tools like Camera Raw or whatever. I don't know how how your skills are on, on photo editing, but then if, if you have, have looked into these topics, then you know what I'm talking about right now. But I will show you how these settings will affect the picture. So first of all, I will bring down or rise up, no, not, not bring down, I will darken the shadows a little bit more. 
so that we are getting a little bit more contrasty image in this case. So we can just just select another position of the video to see how this is fitting. But I think the shadows are fine like this for now. So in the next step, I will lift up the whites. So only the white color is just, so everything what is white in the picture is getting a little bit brighter now. But also to get a little bit more contrast through the picture, I will darken the blacks. The blacks can be going down a little bit more, like, like 60, 63. Let's see how this looks like. This is not looking too bad. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good for now, I'm happy. But still, there is a little bit too much of greenish look in this picture. So what I will do is, you see here the color tar. So this can be also lifted up a little bit more into the magenta part, like 20. 24. This is not looking too bad. So we don't have this greenish look, but we, we also don't want to, to rise up that the picture is getting pink. We don't want to have that. We need to adjust the magenta part, the magenta color in that way that the picture is looking natural again. So you need to be happy with these settings. So if you are happy with that picture, I'm also happy. So um, So these here are the basic color correction tools that you are bringing the video picture or the, the video look into the most likely natural look possible. So in the next step, we are jumping into the creative mode. The only thing here I'm doing is I'm resharpening a little bit, but not too much. Because if you, if you rise up the sharpness too high, it's not looking uh, natural anymore. So that's more or less what we need to do in creative. And then we're coming to the curves. And here we have the RGB curve. In here, we need to, to get a nice S shape of that curve. I will not go in too deep into detail with this curve. I will create another video for this. What is that? What is explaining this settings a little bit more? But this would go away too much into detail for now. So just be sure that you have a nice and smooth S shape of the RGB curve. So this here is more or less just darken out the darks so he is getting a little bit more contrast in. And this here is rising up the highlights, so the white parts. So I'm happy with this with this setting. So when we are done with the curves, we need to jump into color wheels and match. Before we start changing anything on our color, uh, color wheels, we will need to jump into the Lumetri scopes. This is showing the RGB range of the colors. Let's start with the shadow wheel. I will show you, if I'm bringing down this small switch, you see in the Lumetri scope that the color range is going more into the shadows. So I'm getting every color more into the shadows also. And you see that the picture is also changing. It's getting more contrast, contrasty and the catfish itself is getting more natural look. But you see we will not go deeper now with the shadows because otherwise we will cut, uh, cut out some color informations here. So the next thing I want to do is I want to rise up the highlights. So we need to adjust this color wheel in a way that this color information will not be cut it over 100 because then we are losing information again and that's not the point what we want to achieve. So the, the last thing I need to configure a little bit are the midtones. So I will lower the midtones a little bit short before losing any information here. So this is not looking too bad. We can just scroll a little bit on that clip and we see this is looking fine. This is looking pretty, pretty natural. It's not, not, not over configured, but we still have a little bit of greenish bluish look in the background, but we are, we are in, 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 in a green water lake. So this is pretty fine. So if we are jumping back to the effect controls and we are just turning off the fast color corrector and we are turning off our basic correction, you see, this is our raw material more or less. We don't invest it much of time, but the result of what we did 
is amazing. Oh, so it is just looking like a like a video from a different camera in my eyes. So okay, you see we have done the adjustment for the first clip, and because we have expanded the adjustment layer over all three clips, we have the same configuration already done for the other clips. So if, if I'm just jumping into, into this clip here, into the second clip, and turning off the fast color corrector on the adjustment layer, you see our raw material footage again, the powerful green Hulk look. So we will turn it on. Because we have the adjustment layer on top of the second and third clip also, we have our color grading not only on the first clip, no, also on the second and on the third clip, like you see. So if you want to adjust the specific clip again a little bit, because the adjustment layer could not always fit for all clips, you can select the clip itself and make some fine tuning on it. So here I see it's still looking a little bit too green. So what I could do is I can jump in here and rise up the turn a little bit to more magenta. And then you see we are getting a really natural look. The catfish stays in his natural brownish gray color. We have the seagrass pretty green and we have a really nice picture. Well, what do you think? So now we just adjusted this turn to this clip with our adjustment layer we did before. So this is a combination of adjustment layer settings and of the correction we did on the clip itself. So now we see I have the second clip selected with the white, white balance and turn more in magenta. If I jump to the first clip, you see he has no color correction in the turn. That's how we wanted to have it. So let's see what our third clip is doing. Me, the beautifulest diver ever. Or, no, I'm just joking. I'm just looking like an ugly catfish or whatever. <laughs> no, just joking. So what I think the skin color of my hands is a little bit too pink. So what I will do now is, is something different. I will zoom in a little bit to my timeline and I will cut down the adjustment layer. I will cut it with the scissor directly where the first frame of this clip starts. Exactly here. So I'm cutting the adjustment layer. So I'll no I now basically have two adjustment layers. So I will we'll select the adjustment layer, which is on our on our th third clip on the diver. So I select the adjustment layer and here on the fast color corrector, I will go down a little bit with the magenta. I will decrease the intensity of the magenta tone. So I could make it extremely pinky and I can go down a little bit. So in this case, the skin color looks a way more natural. Yeah, I like this. And if we scroll, scroll further on in this clip, it looks really good. It looks really good. What I'm missing a little bit is, is here that the shadow, the, 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 the face part is a little bit too dark, I believe. We can try to change this. We're just selecting the clip itself. And I will try to, to brighten the shadows a little bit. You see it's getting getting brighter and brighter, but we will only do it a little bit and bring the blacks up a little bit more. Now we have a little more details of the face in that clip. Yeah, that's good. So, we, so now we can see my eyes moving and that's pretty good. So if we, if we now look to the complete clip, we just keep it running. We see we have a real natural looking video out of pretty bad raw material footage. So now we have a look we want to have for our videos. Um, hopefully um, everybody understood what I'm trying to explain in here, but I think it's, it's not too hard. You just need to try that. And uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, hopefully you are happy with that. I am. That's how I'm going to color correct all my videos. So yeah, that's it. Um, in the next video I will explain you how you can save these adjustment layer settings to a lot. And this lot can be used in all your other diving videos to save a lot of time in post-production. So don't miss the next clips, send out a subscription and 
If you liked the video, please send me a thumbs up. That would support my channel a lot. And yeah, I have to thank you that you have watched my video again. And see you next time. Bye bye.